Welcome to Blade HQ, everybody. Today is November 13th, 2023, and today we're gonna talk about this mofo. First knife on the table is the brand new Demco Knives Shark Cub. And this one is much like the AD 20.5 we all know and love. However, the blade is quite a bit thinner. This one's got a 20 CV blade in the slicer profile which is a Blade HQ exclusive that I love very much. And this kind of smoky Ultim handle. Very interesting, very fun. I love the size of this. And one thing that is a big update is this pocket clip. It's a reversible deep carry pocket clip. And I know a lot of people have been asking for that sort of thing on these Demcos. But after that, fidgety, bomb-proof shark lock. Just a great knife all around, 210 right now at BladeHQ.com. Next up on the fixed blade front, we've got the new Petrified Fish Bison. And let me tell you about the value on this one. $38.95 gets you a very nice snappy Kydex sheath with a million different mounting options. It's got a tech lock, it's got this cool steel clip, it's got a ball chain, it's got all kinds of ways to carry this thing. And then this very nice knife with a 14C 28N blade with a lot of rounding and this one's kind of got this dark stone wash. I'll tell you, I would probably carry this on a static cord where you put a line right here and then you just tuck it in your waistband or in your pocket or something. You can just yank it and it's, man. A very small knife, very slick knife, but that's a, a lot of 14C28N for that incredible price of under $40. A great little fixed blade if you're looking for a neck knife sort of thing. Next up, we have three awesome new exclusives from Buck Knives. If you didn't see our video last Friday where we showed off Buck Knives, these are what we were up there to see. We have first the 112 with the Dymalux walnut handles and the thumb stud on the S35VN blade and a pocket clip. So it definitely is a 112 through and through. However, it has some modern accoutrements that make it more appealing to the modern carry style, which I really appreciate. And these are going for 150. Next up, we have a new Buck 110 Auto with the ebony handle, the nickel silver bolsters, and the S30V blade. These are going for 250. It's the same Buck 110 Auto you know and love, but with a little bit of an upgrade and a new handle colorway, kind of a more monochromatic feel. And lastly, my personal favorite is the 110 Manual with the brass bolsters, the micarta handle, and the S45VN blade. These are on for 180. So for USA made with Buck's incredible warranty and the Boss Heat Treat on a very premium steel for 180 bucks, you cannot go wrong with this one. This one is definitely on my Christmas list. Next up, this is the Bad Habits Manufacturing MoFo. I did mention we're gonna talk about this MoFo. This is indeed a MoFo. Don't anybody send this to my mom. I don't want her to know I've been using such cursing languages. Anyway, this, this is the Tanto blade with the titanium frame lock and they did a really good job of cutting out just a very thin line here. Sometimes those frame locks get a little chunky in the line there and it makes for hot spots or it looks a little cheap in my opinion. But this one they made very thin, probably using a wire EDM or something with a very nice pocket clip. And generally when we see a titanium frame lock these days, you see an M390 blade, but this one's got an S30V blade. And I have not seen a tie frame lock with S30V in a long time. But I really appreciate they're using it here because this is gonna be a lot easier to sharpen than M390 is. And this feels like a hard using knife. I wanna go, I wanna cut open concrete bags, I wanna split wood, I wanna do all kinds of crazy stuff. And I would really appreciate the ease of sharpening that that S30V will offer. So this one goes for 285, has a 3.5 inch blade and an eight inch overall. So it's a fairly large knife too. So if you got bigger hands, this mofo might just be the one for you. Next up, we have two new knives from Kershaw. We actually have a lot of new knives from Kershaw, but I grabbed these two. First, we have the Launch 16. But this one still has that M4 blade, but a full plain edge, and then this green aluminum handle. And I gotta tell you, this one speaks deeply to my soul. I really enjoy it. It goes for $149.95 too. So USA made a very nice powder steel, a very nice handle with these inlays that's so good, so good, and for a great price too. This one's also on the Christmas list. Next up, on the new Livewire front, we have a Livewire Tanto. And this one kind of has this dark washed blade too, made of MagnaCut, but other than that, still a Livewire, very slick action, very nice lockup, all things considered. These are going for $239.95. I'm waiting for the Livewire Dagger. It hasn't been announced, I'm just speculating at this point, but I really want it. But I'm glad to see that they're branching out and they got more blade styles, because that means a dagger might be in the future. Only time will tell. And then lastly on the table, we have the CJRB Frack. And I'll tell you, nothing makes me want to drill for oil quite like this thing. I don't know why, but I just wanted to say it because Frack. 
But this one has this steel handle, but it feels almost like titanium Bruh. because I'm able to catch this. It has a lot of milling on the inside, so much. And then this nice frag texture and an S90V blade on this one for $199. S90V is one of those blade steels that is built for incredible edge retention, and that edge retention comes through wear resistance. So the fact that you're getting a big 3.9 inch blade of S90V steel with this very tall grind and even a swedge on there for $199, that's incredible. That's a deal because it probably took belts upon belts upon belts to grind that knife out. Anyway, that's new knives for the week. We hope you've enjoyed and let us know what you like. Subscribe to Blade HQ to see more knife content. Follow us on Instagram. We're always posting stuff there and we'll see you next time.